What is up everybody? It is your girl Queen Loser aka Lily. Today we're going to be making a fun Funfetti cake. Not from the box. Just the FYI. I will put a list of things you will need in the description box below. Um, unless you want to take a moment to screenshot my awful handwriting. You can understand it. It's not all the instructions but we're just... Do we ever follow the actual instructions? No. So what we're going to need today is... Some flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, butter, granulated sugar, light brown sugar, one egg, one fourth cup of yogurt, cup of milk, uh, three fourth cup of milk, my apologies, vanilla, and that is for the pastel, okay? So first thing first, you're going to want to get some um, non-stick butter. Oven, spray pan, check, check, check. In a medium bowl, mix your flour, baking soda, and salt. Okie dokie. So, also, I forgot to mention, don't forget to wash your hands. I already did. My hands are dry as heck. Also, I got my mom's apron. So, for this first step, I went ahead and I put in the flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And the measurements for those is one cup and two third cup of flour, one, tea one half teaspoon baking powder, one half. One four teaspoon baking soda and one half teaspoon salt. Also, I don't know what a one four teaspoon is, so I just use half a teaspoon twice. And it's so for the best. Um, now for the next step is you're gonna want to get another bowl, which I swore I had out, but I'm not sure at the moment. And melt your butter. So give me a second. Make sure you put it in something that is microwavable safe. And pop that in there. Start off with. 20 seconds and we're gonna stir and, and make sure it's melted 20 seconds are up this is how my butter's looking so far let's mix that in let's see what does it say it just says melted so maybe we should let it melt a little bit more because once you mix it it's a little lumpy so, that kind of scared me which point i did that okay um so, probably make sure you get your right measurements because, once again, this is kitchen shenanigans with clean loser. Anyways. Our butter is looking heck of melted. There we go. That's what I like to see. Now for the next step, it says, it says, melt butter, mix in sugars, getting out any lumps mixture will be gritty for the sugars that means the brown sugar and the granulated sugar which is three fourth cup granulated sugar one fourth cup light brown sugar so let me put that in there or let me get the measurements and i'll be right back okay so i only have one for the cup um measurement so it says to mix in the sugars and i don't want to take too long so i'm going to scoop in some brown sugar right here let me say half a cup so get some granulated sugar and I'm gonna mix that in. Mm -hmm. I'm cake with tomorrow. I'm not in a video. I'm recording for my YouTube. <laughs> Can you guys get out? I'm gonna be in the YouTube? Yeah. Wow, I'm gonna be YouTube. That's more brown sugar. I'm gonna mix in, because there wasn't a lot of brown sugar. Can I see the rest of the brown sugar? Just to mix in, it's going to be gritty. So I'm going to mix 
So, how's everybody's quarantine? I don't know if you guys can hear me. Quarantine. Okay, look. I'm getting a consistency like this. Very liquidy. I don't see any lumps. All right. I put in the half a cup of sugar already for the measurement I was using. You want to make sure that there's no lumps. You know, any lumps in the mixture. I think it's like the, probably the longest thing ever. Okay. Now I'm going to get the rest of the sugar that I had. I'm going to just pour that in. Hopefully I did the measurements right. Y'all know I never be doing this stuff right. I like to bake, but I decided not to use the box today. Like, think outside the box. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay, now after you get out all the lumps, it says the mixture will be ready. Ready. Gritty. And then it says to mix in... The one egg you have, okay? So there should be no lumps. If you have lumps, you're doing it wrong. I'm just gonna, you are doing it wrong though. Okie dokie, our choky. So I don't think I have any lumps, but I'm just gonna go. Like, okay. Now for that, I need my egg. And it says whisk and egg, yogurt, milk, and vanilla extract. So for the yogurt, it is. One fourth cup of yogurt. So I just got one of these small ones because I know that I didn't need a big one. Okay, so you honestly don't need a super huge one if you're making just one um, cake. You you just need one, but honestly, it might be good enough to make two. I bought an extra one just in case. So here's my one fourth cup of yogurt, and you're gonna pour that into your your mixture here of the brown sugar. Okay, you're gonna pour that in. Make sure you get all that yogurt out because we didn't always start making here today, sir. No, no, sir. Okay. So I'm gonna start mixing that in, and then you need your milk and your vanilla extract until combined. Honestly, I'm truly talented. Truly talented. Okay, so let's see. Your milk is going to also be, I'm gonna say one fourth. That's, I was looking for the card in this right here. Oh Lord Jesus. Your milk is three fourth cups of milk. So I got some whole milk here. So I'm just take my one, one fourth and I'm gonna do this three times. So we got one, I don't know if y'all can see. We got, oh shit, two, and we got, Lord Jesus. Three, I like the tablespoon because I just can't do that right. Okay, now we got our milk. Let's put this away. We don't want any rotten milk. All right, what else do we need? And then our vanilla extract, which is one tablespoon. So, y'all just saw my biggest word. I know you guys saw that. Okay, one tablespoon. Which, oh, let me just use this one actually. Usually I don't have a mess, you guys, but I'm kind of trying to get my life together. Wait, what did I say? One tablespoon? Okay, I'm gonna put this up here actually. One tablespoon. I got the Mexican vanilla blend because we Mexican over here, we don't do this pure vanilla. So, okay. I'm gonna mix this. And I keep eating yogurt on my garden myself. So, let me turn this so I can put the yogurt on myself. So you're gonna mix, I'm not sure how it's supposed to run. It just says until combined. So, okay, yeah. So for this one, I'm probably gonna start using my, um, oh Lord Jesus, that fell. So I'm just mixing it, y'all, okay? Okay, now I'm going to take in my dry mixture, it says, and slowly, slow and steady wins the race. Start pouring it in there. Okay, I didn't pour all of it in, I only poured some, so as you can see here, this is like kind of low key, a good and a bad angle. You don't want any lumps, you guys, not one lump. I'm probably gonna do the buttercream tomorrow, just because I don't want to frost the cake, and it's just, it comes out nasty. We don't like that. We don't like the nasty. So, it's not looking the greatest, but then again, um, looks can be deceiving. So 
So I'm just gonna get my um, little electric one and I'll be right back. Okie dokie artichokey, so I'm gonna add in some more um, flour. We have a little bit left in there. And I'm gonna just take my electric mixer. <laughs> on this hack but you know how like when you lift it up you got all this cream coming down all right pay close attention okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna slowly rise up voila truly magic okay so now we got our batter okay this is enough for only one of these so if you want to do another one either double your measurements or just like because i'm a little slow um i'm gonna do the same thing i repeat all my steps to do another one of these and um now last but surely not least and i got yogurt on this card lord jesus i feel bad for my future generation all right um you're gonna need your sprinkles okay where are my sprinkles right here so i just got some regular sprinkles right here i'm gonna just open it Oh, that was disgusting. Okay. So now it says to pour only a little bit just because if you over, I mean, if you put too much and you over mix it, it's going to start bleeding the color out. Lord Jesus. So I'm going to, I have here a little, um, a little flat spatula looking thing. I'm just going to turn it over and turn it over. I don't want to mix it too much. Okay. I might add a little bit more sprinkles. Shh. Pillsbury Bucks. Who? Doughboy Who? It's all about homemade, you guys. Quarantine has got me looking like a whole different person. Actually, I was doing this before quarantine. Let's, let's be honest. But uh, So I'm just going to fold it over. There you go. That's the right terminology. Fold it over. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is I'm going to put these sprinkles to the side before I spill them. So you're going to get your pan and you're going to pour it in there. I believe this is a 9 inch pan. I'm not quite sure, but we're going to get it together. We're going to get all ours together. Let's, let's be honest. All right. So I'm going to just pour it all in here. Oh, I think it might overflow, you guys. You're just going to scoop everything in. Oh, so of a Look at all this dough I wasted. I'll be all in better. Hold up. You see that little spot next to the vanilla? We don't do that. This is actually a wall. Okay, I see. So I know that there's only do is you're going to get a butter knife and you half of the ridges. If it fills half of the ridges, you're fine. If it goes a little over, it's going to definitely overflow. So let's um, give it a little count. So I'm gonna stick it here. Oh no, we're good. Perfect, okay. Overthinking for what? Now it's time for this beautiful baby to go into the oven. Okay, it is approximately 9.02 and it needs to be in there for 33 to 37 minutes. The recipe says that halfway through, like before 15, 17 minutes are up, um, like the last 15, 17 minutes, um, take out your cake and put aluminum foil on the top and let it cook the rest. And that should be nice and, nice and crisp. But um, I don't have aluminum foil and I didn't read that until I got home after the grocery store. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it in for the 35 minutes and we'll be back in a few seconds. What is up everybody? Today we are back making the buttercream and we are gonna frost. I didn't show you guys, but this is how it looks, our pastel. So what I did here is I just cut off the top so we can frost and get it nice and sweet. So first things first is you wanna take your room temp butter, or two sticks. Your measurement for this is vanilla buttercream, one cup unsalted butter or two sticks, um, three to four cups confectionate sugar, one fourth cup heavy cream, two and one four half teaspoon pure vanilla extract, and then salt to taste. So first things first, you wanna beat this.
decides to add two to three cups of powdered sugar. So I'm adding my powdered sugar, my heavy cream. I need a little bit more, I feel like. And then it says two and one half teaspoon of this. I'm assuming a tablespoon. Because that just makes no sense to me, so. Oh, and we don't have enough for that, so. Whoops. Whoopsies. Get a spoon first to make sure this powder doesn't completely. The most everything else looks a little funky like it looks like it might be let me get a closer look you guys see that focus it looks like um it's separating but honestly it's done oh it doesn't look good. Hmm. yep 